Hey guys, what's up? It's Nikia Joy here again on the Maybelline Makeup Love channel. So I'm hanging out here again today and I'm going to be showing you how I create this super smoky sort of event style makeup. So we've got, you know, smoky eyes, we've got some shimmer, some glitter, we've got a whole lot of highlighter. Oh, I love this highlighter. <laughs> but this makeup routine is even more special because it's actually super long lasting. There's nothing more annoying than spending, you know, ages doing your makeup and then you get to the event and it kind of all just melts away. So there will be a bunch of extra tricks in this video so not only am I going to be showing you how to create this look, but I'm also going to be showing you how to get it to last all night long. All right, let's jump into the video. All right, so first up, we want to go ahead and prep our skin. It's always super important to make sure we prep our base before going in with foundation to get the longest wear time possible. I'm using this pore minimizing primer and I'm pressing it into my skin so that I don't cause any extra texture. Now, my favorite foundation ever, this is the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And like, let me tell you, they are not lying on the label. This is one of the most beautiful foundations. It's got incredible coverage and it really does last all night long. So I'm applying with a sponge and then I'm gonna scoot you guys in closer and let's do the brows. Now no glam makeup look is complete without eyebrows of course so I'm using the master brow palette to fill my brows in. Um, if you are wanting to get a really really good long wear time out of your brow powder just make sure that you go in and set it with a brow gel. I'm gonna use this one here the brow precise fiber volumizer because not only does this set the brows in place but it also makes my brows look thicker and more voluminous and trust me I need all the help that I can get with my brows because I'm not naturally blessed like so many of you are. Now that the brows are done, we want to move ahead to prepping the eyes. Now, just like the face, it is super, super important to prep the eyes before going in with eyeshadow. You can use a concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, just dotting it on and then blending it in with a brush. But if you really, really, really want to lock it down tight and make sure that there is no creasing and no budging of your eyeshadow, go ahead and set that down with a translucent powder. This is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and I'm pressing that into the eye area using a sponge. I promise if you do this, your eyeshadow will go no. Nowhere. Now for our smoky eye look, today we're going to be using the Total Temptation Shadow Palette. This is a really pretty one. There's like a warm toned side and a cool toned side. I'm starting out with this sort of apricot orange color on a fluffy blending brush and I'm working that one in backwards and forwards, sort of windscreen wiper motions, buffing that one all through the crease. This one's going to act as our transition color and it's going to build a really good base for our shadows to go on top of. We're then going to move down to this terracotta color. This is a matte shade as well. And on a slightly smaller, still fluffy blending brush, I'm going to be packing that one into the outer crease and then blending it across kind of through the crease towards the inner corner and a little bit across the lid, just making sure that I'm really buffing out the edges so that it is nice and smoky and we don't have any harsh edges. Now going in with the deep dark brown from the palette, I'm first gonna pack that one in the outer corners of both eyes and then switch brushes to the one that I was using just before with that terracotta color and really smoke out and buff out the edges. If you are trying to build up a smoky eye and you're wanting it to look as neat as possible, go in stages. So pack a little shadow on, then blend it out, then pack a little on, blend it out, so on and so forth. It's what will really create the most seamless look. And then finally, I'm really packing it on with a dense flat brush onto the outer parts of the lid to really smoke up this look. Now to add a highlight and to add some sparkle, I'm taking this beautiful gold from the palette and using a finger, I'm going to really, really pack that onto the inner corner of the eyes and kind of sweep it along across the lid. See how much of like a glow that adds? How pretty. And then on the lower lash line, I'm just gonna smudge that apricot shade that we started out with. Then once that is done, we're gonna go in with some mascara. This is the Total Temptation Mascara. I do really, really like this mascara. I've spoken about this one before. It's smudge proof and it does give your lashes lots and lots of volume. Now because I want to look extra glam, I am going to quickly jump off camera, apply some lashes and I'll be right back to do the face. Now you want to try and get your skin as perfect as possible with any smoky eye. So I am going back in with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Still obsessed with this years and years later. It is so creamy and so full coverage and also super easy to blend out. So I have applied this in all the areas where I like to highlight. I'm then blending it out and then we want to lock it in place. So taking the same sponge and that Maybelline Fit Me Loose setting powder that we started off with earlier, I'm going to be really locking that foundation and that concealer in place by pushing that powder into the skin. It is the best way to get your foundation to last as long as possible. Now we do want to add some color and some shape back into the face. So I'm taking this master contour palette and starting out with the bronze shade, I'm going to be using that on an angled brush and I'm going to be 
be using that in the hollows of my cheeks and also blending it up around my hairline to add some color and some shape back into my face. I'm not really, you know, sort of hardcore contouring. I'm more just using this as a bronzer to really kind of like sculpt lightly and just warm everything up. Then I'm taking the blush from the palette and this is such a pretty color. Look at that. It's beautiful and natural. I'm sweeping that one sort of along the middle of the cheekbones up towards the hairline. Then here is a cheeky trick. Go in now with a setting spray before your highlighter and then apply your highlighter while your setting spray is still wet. It will make your highlighter last so much longer. So taking the Master Chrome highlighter, this is literally one of my favorite highlighters ever. Applying this to the skin. Look at that. Literally blinding. I am glowing. Pretty sure everyone from space could see me at this point and I'm loving it. And then finally for lips and another really good trick is to use a lip pencil and color in the entirety of your lips before going in with a lipstick. It really does stain the lips and make sure that your lipstick stays all night long. For my lips, I'm gonna be using this Super Stay Ink Liquid Lipstick and this is from the New Unnudes collection. It is the shade Poet and applying that over the top. And after you've done that, that pretty much completes the look. A super, super bronzy, glow glowing, gorgeous makeup look for, you know, nighttime or events. And I promise you, this is a super, super long lasting makeup routine that will get you through the entire night. All right, so there you have it, guys. That is it for the video. I hope that you found all the tricks really helpful and I hope that you enjoyed how the makeup came out. Make sure that you are subscribed here on the Makeup Love channel so that you don't miss any future uploads and also leave the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and pop a comment down below and let us know what you want to see next. Sending all my love, guys, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.